for we are to God the fragrance of Christ. Second Corinthians two verse fifteen. Welcome to my channel. My name is Topwe, and this is Top Notes by Topwe. So, if you love fragrance-related content, especially if you love Middle Eastern fragrances, I am your plug for that kind of video. So, I'll be elated if you subscribe to my channel. And um, to my returning subscribers, thank you, the new subscribers to this channel, and I'm very grateful that you subscribe. So today in the video, I have um, three Latafa fragrances that I want to talk about. These are three fragrances from the Opulent line. So that's the Opulent Mask, Blue Oud, and Opulent Oud. So if you're interested in knowing my opinions about these fragrances, without much ado, let's get into the video. <music> welcome back so um i first got the opulent mask and then um i was going through like from my sales associate and she was thinking why don't i get the entire line so i got the two others that i was missing and i thought that why not give you a video of the three side by side you know comparative video of the three so that you understand how they all are so in this video i'm going to start with my least favorite of the line but i thought to show you how they all look so this is how the th this is um blue oud this is what it looks like the bottles i must say are all very pretty and then the last one is the opulent mask so they all opulent mask and um opulent oud look very similar whilst blue oud have like has like um a, a bronzy touch to it so my least favorite of this three i have to say is blue oud and so i'm going to start from there i have my notebook as usual for me to tell you what the notes are so for blue oud it has cambodian oud it has saffron it has vanilla gayak oud and indian oud honestly and then it has blue mask so there's this blue it has like marine notes i feel like the first thing i get is marine notes which is not even mentioned here then i get saffron then i get this pungent oud which i think is the cambodian oud that's what i smell at the top so there's this water note and then at the point the water note at this one is beginning to get slightly sweet but the first spritz of it you smell some water notes aquatic blue notes there it's not mentioned the wood here is very very pungent this one of the three this has the most pungent wood and i understand it has gayak wood or gayak wood it has cambodian wood it has indian wood so it has three layers of wood in it it has vanilla the wood is kind of dry but very pungent the blue note stays in throughout the scent there's some mask in it but very very light almost undetectable but it gives this fragrance a powdery nuance to it so there's like a a blue it's a watery water watery blue kind of like um powdery woody scent there's something about this that doesn't make sense to me i have to be honest it's weird smelling i i personally don't like um blue notes like water notes i don't like aquatic scents and that was one of the reasons why i let go of my olympia original because it had this water notes thing that no i don't like it. so that is this one it has um a, an average sillage it has an average projection it lasts on your skin annoyingly yeah of the three this lasts like average long it really like the, the next one i'm going to talk about is one that i wish lasted as long as this but annoyingly this one lasts long can you comment and tell me if you have the experience of a scent that you don't like tend to last a bit longer in your life like why you you know so this one stays anywhere between four to five hours on my skin it projects actively for the first hour i smell it i believe other people smell smell it too in the first hour um it's for the first four to five hours that is staying on my skin i smell it at very it stays very close to me i'll say that this no this scent has like um a medium to average sillage and projection i don't think it's a very it doesn't fill a room it stays closed after the first hour it, it forms a very nice scent cloud around you and um it's a people that would come close to you i didn't get any compliments on this when i wore it but i have i tried it out only on two days consecutively and i was in a hurry to like scrub it off my skin 
I didn't enjoy it at all. It's not that it's a strong scent. It's not very powerful, like, so to the point where it's overbearing or anything. But I just think that personally, as a person, I didn't like it. Like, it was, it's one of those scents that, like, like, what were you thinking? Like, if, I, if anybody can contact me and tell me what the brain, like, the idea behind this, maybe I can align to the scent more. But honestly, I don't like it. Please comment down below if you've tried it. Tell me if you like it. But this, I love the bottle so much. I'm giving this away to my colleague because um, I think he would enjoy it. So I'm going to give this to him. Um, the next one on the list is Opulent Mask. Opulent Mask has top notes of floral notes, saffron, citruses, algal wood in the middle, amber and caramel. It has... Um, base notes of vanilla, woody notes, raisins, patchouli, and musk. So one of the things that I noticed about this entire line is that there's going to be oh, there's going to be saffron, vanilla, and musk. But there's going to be some different variations of other florals and other things going on. This one is a beautiful... So this is a very caramel, saffrony, musk note. Very powdery. It's floral yet powdery. The saffron here is very prominent. That is why it's some people think that it's like um, a dupe for Baccarat Rouge. This one too is a great scent. I enjoy it. Unfortunately, this doesn't last very long on my skin. It projects actively for about 45 minutes and then it stays on my skin anywhere between three to four hours. It has again below average to average sillage and projection but this scent is very nice i love the caramel thing about it there's this caramel sweetness about it then it, it does well the oud here honestly is almost not there i don't smell oud on my skin in this scent if you have this and you smell oud please let me know but i almost don't smell oud the mask gives it this powdery so it feels like it's a powdery interpretation of like Baccarat Rouge, but with, you know, more powderiness to it. The floral is there. It comes out just after the first 45 minutes and then almost disappears immediately. What stays on my skin is the saffron, the caramel sweetness, some vanilla. The vanilla too is not like a thick um, vanilla. This thing has some sparkliness to it, lightness to it that is very beautiful. It's, it's It has raisins, it has woody notes. The patchouli lend slight earthiness to it but you need to kind of wear it a lot to get the earthiness but it's very sweet caramelly it's not overbearingly sweet and i like this scent when i crave some sweet powderiness this is what i go for and so this is the opulent mask the next one this is my favorite of the three and this is opulent food crush this scent is fantastic it is so good it is, oh my god, this thing is, you don't understand. Oh. So this one has notes of white musk, saffron, lemon. It has white flowers, it has jasmine, white musk again. It has cedar, it has fair raising, and it has amber. This is a dry, woody, sweet, yet woody scent. The floral is there. I smell the jasmine, but there's a fresh take to jasmine. It smells like early evening blossoming of like the night blossoming jasmine. If you smell the night blossoming jasmine, it has that early blossom of it when it hasn't gotten thick, but it's just beginning to blossom. It's so beautiful. It's like um, oud, sweet, white floral thing going on. But I smell, but the oud, the oud is a dry oud. It's not very pungent it has slight leathery notes to it it's so beautiful this just imagine like jasmine oud a bit of lemon squeezed on it mixed together it is so beautiful it smells look this thing smells so expensive it's it doesn't smell cheap like if just hear me on this and run out to get this fragrance because it smells so expensive it has above average cyan it fills the room and it has above average projection too because people smell this i got 
three compliments on this perfume and i think that that is a lot i wore it on the day of it to go visit some family and everybody was wondering what i was wearing it smelled so good it smelled so so good i have to be honest and it smells so expensive like i can't believe that this is the scent and it lasts it projects for about the first hour to hour 45 minutes it it has that active projection and then it lasts on my skin for about four to five hours maybe six but on my clothes trust me even on the next day i was smelling it and you know sometimes when you're smelling fragrances on your clothes you tend to smell like you just know that something nice you, you are like some nice fragrance but with this i could immediately pick the same dna from it it didn't just smell like something nice it's a great scent i love it i really love it this is one that i'm definitely going to repurchase and keep in my collection just because it smells very nice and there was a day that i layered it with pure mask with oh gosh it was great it was really really great so this is opulent mask and I, of all the three this is my favorite from the like the opulent line from latafa so if you have had experience with any of these three fragrances i will be excited to hear from you let me know but this opulent mask i must say that it has my seal of approval i would ask you that if you find it put your hand on it i know somebody said i was i was after after using it i checked up on um i think fragrantica and somebody said it's it, it was um um, a dupe to um, a Louis Vuitton um, ombre nomad or nomad ombre I'm going to put it somewhere but I haven't smelled that but I said no wonder it, it smells like niche quality perfume I won't lie to you this is a really great scent so you should try it and so we've come to the end of this review thank you for watching this video to this point if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up please because it helps the channel it just helps so aside watching don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and if you are not subscribed i really really want you to hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so that you are always notified when i upload a new video thank you very much for watching this video and i'll see you in my next video Bye bye